The OSBI says it's hiring five new analysts to help catch up on the backlog of untested rate kits here in Oklahoma. The Bureau says they were given a million dollars from the state legislature last year to do it, but there's still more than 7,000 kits waiting to be tested and victims seeking justice. News Channel's Lily Cummings spoke to one woman who's been waiting almost two years. Lauren Doty is a survivor. In August 2019, I was carjacked at gunpoint, kidnapped for 12 hours and sexually assaulted um, by three teenagers, actually. The same day, Doty says she filed a police report and went to Hillcrest to have a rape kit done. She finally found out this April that it had been processed after more than a year of waiting. So the online tracking system only helps survivors from January 20 on helps I use loosely. Doty says her kit found a match to someone already in the criminal system, but nothing has been done. So in the meantime, she's helped get the Believe Women Oklahoma group off the ground in Tulsa. With almost 100 women across Oklahoma working together to hold the state accountable to test these kits. We identified a little over 7,200 kits in Oklahoma. OSBI says 3,500 of those fall under TPD's jurisdiction. Oklahoma City and Tulsa working on their own kits, with OSBI doing 2,200 of them. They've hired five new analysts in 2020, and by this fall, they say they will be fully trained and ready to take on the work. They should really answer to the reason why they have not taken, they have taken so long to test these kits. The backlog issue isn't uncommon nationwide, but Believe Women says Oklahoma is falling far behind other states who've got it under control. They talked about how it's going to take approximately 300 days to run these kits. Every day that those kits sit on a shelf, that sample is deteriorating. It's making it less likely to have a good DNA match. These women banding together because they don't want any others to sit waiting. My hope is that they do better. I don't want to just shame them. My goal is for Melody to be able to grow up in a place where it's safe for her to go outside even if it's dark outside. Believe women asking investigators to not leave women in the dark on their cases. In Tulsa, Lily Cummings, News Channel 8. Brave ladies. Believe Women Oklahoma does have a GoFundMe that's linked in this story. They're working to host community awareness events and continue to lobby for survivor rights.